in this video i'll show you how to define a function in r uh, the function that we are going to define uh, is a function uh, the name of the function is triplet so what this function is going to do is that it will tell us if uh, the uh, arguments uh, or or the three numbers given to this function are triplet or not so uh, what do you mean by triplet uh, well uh, if the sum of the squares of the uh, two numbers is equal to the third number in a set of two numbers then we call these three numbers as triplets it's like um, the base height and the uh, hypotenuse of a right triangle so uh, let's uh, define it so the first thing to do is that to write the name uh, you can give any name uh, I'm just using triplet and then write function and then you have to give uh, the uh, arguments uh, we will we are going to have three arguments here a b and c so uh, since it's a triplet we we're going to give three uh, numbers to the function and then uh, inside we'll have to have the uh, curly bracket uh, where we where we will define the function the actual uh, algorithm and we'll close it with curly bracket so inside we'll write the algorithm if bracket a square plus p square equal to c square then return um, 1 so if it is a uh, triplet then we are returning 1 else return 0 so let's uh, revisit first you have to uh, provide the name uh, you can you can provide any valid name followed by function as a keyword and within that uh, the number of arguments we have got three here a b c uh, and then inside the curly bracket uh, we need to uh, define the actual algorithm so the algorithm here is that if a square plus b square is equal to c square then return one else return zero uh, we have done a mistake here. Uh, the expression has to be within brackets. So we have to use another bracket here. Okay, so that's how we define something wrong here. There will not be uh, any um, then. So we just removed it and then enter. So now the function is defined. So let's see uh, whether it works. So triplet, and then we have to pass arguments. Say, for example, two, three, and four. It returns zero. That means this is not triplet. So let's try uh, three, four. This should be a triplet, and this returns one. So that's how we define a triplet or define a function.